Hi there, Carmel Presbyterian Church, Peter Barnes here. This past Sunday, I shared with the congregation that a couple in our church had approached me and had shared with me that they were so inspired by the events surrounding our Great Commission weekend at the end of August and by the missionaries that had gathered here to tell their story about what God was doing both locally and around the world, that they wanted to give an anonymous challenge gift to the church in the amount of $50,000 in order to encourage and inspire others in our congregation to also give over and above their regular giving to the church in order to fund some extra special mission causes. Wow! I'm so encouraged by the mission-mindedness of this congregation and by the generosity of this particular couple. And I hope that you will be inspired too and that you'll take advantage of this extra opportunity, this extra invitation to support missions. If you'd like to participate in this special giving opportunity, make out a check to CPC and put in the memo line or do this online as well and say, uh, call it Challenge Gift to Missions. And we'll make sure every penny goes to support these mission efforts. And we'll be working, the session will be working with the missions committee to determine exactly where to allocate the funds. Now there's a small window that we're going to have open for this giving opportunity. And for the next two weeks you can do this. And that's the reason for this is because toward the middle of the month, I'm going to remind the congregation that we're coming to the end of our fiscal year at the end of September. And we'd like to invite folks in our congregation who have been especially blessed this year financially to consider making a year-end gift to the ministry of the church. And both of these giving opportunities should be above and beyond your regular giving to CPC. Uh, we want to finish the year solidly in the black so that we enter into the new fiscal year in a strong position as we anticipate filling some uh, staff vacancies that are currently open. But I'm looking forward to see how God might prompt us to all to respond to these invitations. This Sunday, I'm going to preach on a passage of Scripture that talks about stewardship. And James has a great deal to say about the ways in which we are not owners. We're merely stewards of the, of the resources that God sends our way. And that we're supposed to look to God to determine how we are to manage the money that He provides for us. I look forward to digging deeper with you in James chapter 5 and seeing what the Lord has to say about this all. I'm grateful to be a part of this church family. I'm grateful for each of you. And may God bless you richly.